Welcome to Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton, where tonight the Raptors will take on the Indiana Pacers. And Sherm, let's start with Toronto for the third time in four games. More of a traditional type matchup, especially for Jonas Valanciunas. He saw big guys in Memphis, yeah. big guys against Detroit, and you'll see Roy Hibbert tonight. It's got to be a little bit comforting for him that he's not going to have to chase little guys around the perimeter. Well, yeah, and, and you know, he's a guy who I think succeeds and has a lot of pride when he's playing against those big bodies because he gets minutes on the court, he right. gets possessions, and he gets the opportunity to work on his game on both sides of the ball. But I will say this for Jonas, we're seeing a confidence level grow in him. We're seeing, and I really thought against Detroit, he did a great job making decisive post moves. Yes. They were strong, they were direct, and he was confident with the ball on the blocks. And, and sometimes when you see that other guy in there yeah. that they're talking about and saying hey that guy's tough that gives you a bit more fire and a bit more aggression to go after him and show him yeah he might be tough but you got to contend with me as well all right Sherm let's talk about uh, DeMar DeRose another guy who Jonas has had some good games DeMar great game I, I didn't see the explosiveness I saw more of the old man game as Dwayne Casey was talking about but he sure looked closer to himself than any point we've seen since the injury. Yeah, and, and it's going to take time for DeMar to get that explosiveness back, yes. but it was good to see him, I think, as you said, make plays that we're familiar to seeing from him. You know, he was getting to the basket. He got to the free throw line. We saw him operate off of the, the picks that were being set and without the ball movement, without the ball. I, I just thought DeMar had more of a feel of the yes. DeMar prior to injury. And, you know, he's a guy who he's going to work at his game. He's going to put the hours in in terms of trying to get his game back. But I just think that when you come back from an injury you want to make sure yes. that when you start to do everything you used to do especially as an athlete that you're confident and I think sometimes from the neck up you can struggle with that the neck down you might try things but when you get it in your mind that you're 100 percent healthy and you can go 100 miles an hour I think DeMar is just going to be that player that we're used to seeing but you're right it was good to see him do some of the things that we've seen him do prior to his injury. Sherm, Dwayne Casey talked about this morning at shoot around the fact that it's more of a, a grinding type tempo it will be tonight and you look at the Pacers they always had problems scoring even with Paul George yeah. and they're th that's being manifested a lot this year. But the other side of the ball is still the same. They're near the top in opponent's field goal percentage, near the top in opponent's points allowed, near the top in opponent's three-point percentage. They hold teams down, fewest assists. They still have that defensing, defensive presence, and it's going to be a grinding-type game tonight. Yeah, they still have a lot of sandpaper on that <laughs> roster. I mean, they're still a yeah. physical team, and we talked about Jonas earlier. Well, the matchup with Roy Hibbert, and Roy Hibbert's a guy who, even though his numbers aren't great, He's physical. He plays a good brand of defense. He's the one who kind of implemented that principle of yes, verticality. Yes. And I just think that with him, David West, you still have that roughness about the team. But as you mentioned, without Paul George there, no Lance Stevenson anymore, it's just difficult to manufacture points yeah. consistently. And I just think this team is just in for a long season based on the fact that they might choke you down and hold teams, but they might not be able to score on yeah. the other end. And that's a difficult way to go through a season. But it's going to be physical. It's going to be a battle under the glass you're going to have to really be willing to take some blows and deliver some blows yeah. in order to get it done but I think this is a good game for the Raptors we've seen their defense get better we've seen it kind of take steps in the right direction so this will be another test on that side of the ball well you know Sherm the Eastern Conference playoff they say is like the mob even when you think you're out of it you're not so the Pacers holding on to hope trying to get a win over Toronto tonight the Raptors looking for another win you can see it at eight at sorry at seven o'clock on TSN 2 and here it was Sherm and myself on TSN 1050.